Hi, and welcome to the Wayne County Probate Court. This video will guide you in filling out the petition to use funds for a conservatorship. Before we get started, this video is not legal advice and is for informational purposes only. You need to seek legal counsel for questions specific to your situation. So I have up here the form, and real quick, there is a training uh, PDF on the court's website. Here is the Wayne County Probate Court's website. When you go to probate information, it'll bring you to this screen, how to administer a Wayne County probate case. You'll see the various case types that are to be administered through the court. And for conservatorships, you see training for newly appointed conservators. When you click on the link, lots of great information about being a conservator is available, including the inventory and other various documents, including form PC673M. And you can simply do an internet search by typing in PC637M. This website right here, www.courts.michigan.gov, has all the various forms used to file and the various case types. And when you click on the link, it'll bring up a form, but I have an annotated one here. So to get started, you're going to put in the Wayne County. You're going to put in your case number and the judge, the court address, the telephone number, and the name of the person who has the conservator, the petitioner's name, address, and telephone number. If there is an attorney, you will include their information here, or they will include it. If not, you can simply leave this area blank an attorney is not required to file this petition. Then, moving on to number one, it says I. You're going to type in your name as the person who is the conservator and the conservator of the estate. Number two, the interested person's addresses and their representatives are identical to those appearing on the initial petition except as follows. And it says for each person whose address changed, list the name and new address, attach a separate sheet if necessary. So you want to reference the initial petition that you filed for the conservatorship. And if anyone's address is different, you need to indicate that here. And if you can't fit it all on this line, attach a separate sheet. Moving on to number three, as of you're going to type in the date, the wards, also the person over whom a conservatorship is currently pending. The wards' total assets are, you're going to type in the amount of the total assets. Then you're going to make your request in number four. It says, I request permission to withdraw. This is just an example for illustration purposes only. You need to type in the information that's relevant to your case but permission to withdraw 5,000 of the ward's money from. Now you'll notice it says, use form MC97, row six, on that form, and type in the account number. At, you're gonna type in the bank, the relevant bank. These are just examples for illustration purposes. The funds will be used as follows for the benefit of the ward. I put purchase of a car. This is just an example. You need to be as specific as possible so the judge will clearly understand how the funds will be used. Type in your story here. Then you're going to read the declaration. I declare under penalties of perjury that this petition has been examined by me and that its contents are true to the best of my information, knowledge, and belief. If that's true, you're going to date and sign. E-signatures are acceptable. If an attorney is helping you, they must date and sign too. 
e-signatures are acceptable. And then at the bottom of every SCAO form, there is a reference to a statute or a court rule or both. I've highlighted the statute here. If you uh, simply, uh, you can copy, whoops, you can simply copy and paste in the internet and it'll bring up the statutory section and you're going to want to read that to help further instruct you and understand the law regarding this form. So that is how you fill out the petition to use funds. We put this together at the Wayne County Probate Court because we care. Have a great day.